Hello my friends there on YouTube. This is Michael with Earth Watching. Today is 32718. It's about 830. Uh, I'm going through the FFA or FAA weather cameras. These are government cameras here. This is uh some of these are gonna be in Alaska, some of these are gonna be in Canada. I just want to show you some pretty cool anomalies I found today. Like this one here, it appears that the sun, as it reaches this part of the sky, just disappears and then pops up over here out of frame. Like, check this out. See? It, like, never gets past this point. It just gets smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller and then vanishes. And then the sun seems to be over here. Incredible disappearing sun. There it is. We're going backwards. So now you watch it grow. And I'll go back one more time. Then we'll go to the next camera. I found some other anomalies. I found a ton of them. If you look at the top of the screen here. When you're starting, used to be two or three, maybe four cameras that find something. Now when you're finding them like this, um, I think things are accelerating. Hey, here we go. Let's see what's on this one. So many, I can't even remember what I saw on this one here. You're going to see a red orb returning right here. There you go. There's our orb floating through the sky. We've been catching this for well over a year now. And it's not a lens reflection, lens flare, lens anomaly, because you'll see chemtrails, clouds, things go over top of it, cut it in half, uh, things of that nature. And here, let's click to the next camera. Got so many to look through, I'm kind of speeding through them today. See, there's your red, same red ball. Same place in the sky as on the other camera. And as you watch it, and if you really look close, looks like there's a big one right here. If you watch my cursor go around. And I believe this is one of the lenses in space that's causing us to reflect this projection down onto our atmosphere. Because on some days it's so crystal clear you can watch the that red orb rotate you can see features on it you can watch it rotate this is another thing that i just noticed i caught as i'm flipping through there's your orb there's your little glow in the middle that always seems to appear where's our black dot you notice this on some of the other cameras that there's the big red and they're the same cameras is uh the different cameras have different colored dots so let's flip over here to this camera there's your orb You see, check out the lens here. Comes down, projecting your image right there. There's your lens right there in front of the sun. See, as the sun goes past it, it distorts it. it shows you it's not on the camera, it's up there in space. The reflection disappears, it goes by it. There's very, very light image of it. And here's another one. You see, as it's going by. go through this one one more time so you can watch them here's your orb it's going to be projected down from the lens and there you are and I believe somewhere between that lens and the sun there's our planet that we're all getting our nice projection of you see here here's the black dot why wasn't that on the other camera doesn't make any sense to me Here we go, another camera. Watch how the sun changes. This is approximately the same time on the one camera we watch disappear. It changes as it passes those frames, that time frame, and as it comes out the other side, it goes back to the way it was. And there's your black dot once again. And if you think it's a camera problem, that, oh, that's a camera anomaly, there's something wrong with the camera, there's something on the glass, something on the lens, something on the housing. Look at how crystal clear the background is back here. Look at how crystal clear and undistorted the power lines are. So why is it when the sun's going through the sky like this, that it becomes all distorted, odd looking? It's almost like it's passing through a, I mean, a dirty piece of glass almost. You know, lens up in space. There's your square that we're all talking about, your perfect right angle that we've been catching. And here it goes, back to normal. There's something right here they're using to obscure something, you know, obscure 
another planet, heavenly body, I don't know, monster space station as far as I know. Nobody truly knows and that's what we're all out here trying to find out. Here we go, same time frame. If you look close, right here's an orb. Giant circular shape. At the same time the sun gets to it, it goes dim. And you watch. So you can see the shape of the orb. When it gets to it, there's the orb there. It gets brighter a little bit. Poof. And it stays this way. And there's your orb. Let's go back one. See it? Perfect circular shape at the same time the sun dims. So I haven't figured that out. Well, I have. All the trolls tell you something different. That, oh, that's just something on the camera lens, but... It just, I find it a, more than an anomaly that as soon as the sun gets to that point that I always see that round circular shape right here in the sky. Right here. That's when the sun dims. Changes from that to that. In 10 minutes. So you watch. You watch time frames on here. 2130. 2140. 10 minutes went by. To reduce the sun's, you know, brightness by 50%. In 10 minutes Ooh, I didn't catch that either when I was looking right here's your square this is that perfect square that we've all been talking about that right angle I believe it is a huge Fresnel lens in space but there it is as you get closer there's a sun cloud distorting it it's right there you can see look at it there's the edge of it Look at how perfectly squared off that side of the sun is. Over here, it's all bumpy, lumpy. Here, you see the rays. That's like, phew, perfect square edge. And let's try the next camera. There you are. Perfect straight edge once again. There what appears to be a huge orb. There's your circle. Different camera, different type of lens. There we go. As soon as it gets to it, sun dims out again. See? And then they chemtrail it and haze it all up as it goes over the horizon. We'll go through the whole sequence. Here we are. We'll start slowing down. There you are. See, now why is that so perfectly round right here? You know what I mean, I can see every once in a while you're getting it, and there's another perfectly round edge. There's your another one click and you can see it's disturbing the rays of light and there's your giant there's an orb there's one here see now granted what you're seeing here I believe these could be the lenses in space but you just look at how dark it is here you can definitely see the outline of it there's no doubting that And the sun dims as it goes past him. Goes behind him, goes next to him, in front of him, whatever it is. Changing. Let's go do another camera. There you are. And there's a huge one here, and I don't think that's on the camera. You know, it's a possibility it is, but it just acts weird. See, it vanishes. See, and there's the sun getting real dim again. Same point in time. Same point in the sky. And as we went through these cameras, this one started in Alaska, the furthest to the west. And we went all the way basically across Canada, you know, Alaska and then Canada to the east. Up until we got to about the Great Lakes and that's where we lost visibility due to the sky. Here you are. There's your circular orb approximately the same spot in the sky as it was in the other ones and they've come trailed us all up but now look at the huge reflection coming off of it when it gets to it see bang and then they just distort the sky with their spray let's refresh it see if I can get one more frame out of this one there we go there There you go. You can see it. Look at that. Still there. And 
And you look at the mass amount of chemtrails they've put up to hide it. There it is. It's probably going in this direction here. Across the sun's path. We'll see here a second because there it is. Let's move from here to here. Yep, it's moving. And notice that it's right here. And watch it. Let's see. Do this together. There you go. There it is. And it's directly even with the light post. Let's go next. Now you can see here it's right on the other side of the light post. Yep, sun's coming across the sky this way, and I believe now that I've seen that pattern, it's coming straight down that way. And I have one about three weeks ago where I caught the sun setting just like this, and you would see a light source on the Mexican webcams, and it would come across and set just like that. And there was, you could see the definite center point or focal point of light would be right here, and the sun had went down over there. You'd see the sun go down. And about 30 minutes later, you'd see something almost like a second sun, just as bright, drop this way. And I believe what it was is this, with the sun reflecting off of it as it went down. Just pure craziness. Right here, you can see it moving. And let's go to the very last camera. We'll call the night after this one. This is one where I'm going to show you the sky turns like a purple. And then a little glow up in the top or top left, I believe, is what they call cirrus. Is that pronouncing it correctly? See, so you know how bright it gets. Watch this thing just explode in illumination. So look at how bright cirrus is. Is it supposed to be that bright? I am not sure. I'm not an actual astronomer or and know that much about it but if it's supposed to be that bright and the only thing is I'm 90% sure that's what it is because right here we're at the same exact we're at 180 degrees and when you hit play and you watch as the sun goes down there it is about the same exact spot that where it is on this camera Let's see. And there you go. So that one there we know is something we already know what that is. But still all the other oddities in the sky. Just look at them chemtrailing, dropping the chemicals. You can see where the plane dropped it, a line, and you can see where it's dispersing across the sky. In heavy format. And after seeing this myself, is I've even got more beliefs. And then there's that Jeff Peel called a quick move and moves. Look at the shadow here. I believe that's being from the sun being projected over to that way because it just vanishes. It's not an insect. As you can see it here, it's huge. And then the sun goes to the next frame, gets smaller. The sun goes to the next frame, disappears. Look at how the sun there is just all chemmed up. Alright, all my friends out there on YouTube, stay vigilant. Stay prepared. God bless you all. And I believe things are accelerating a little faster than what any of us expected. Um, keep your eyes to the sky. And if you see anything, please get it out there. Send me some pictures. Send me a video. Put it up on your site. Just let anybody know. Um, just find a way to let everybody out there that wants to become awake and understand what's going on. Just let the information get out there so we can get everybody knowledgeable on this subject. Um, once again, good night and God bless you all.